Team Canada's Lizanne Murphy. She had five points in over 10 minutes of uh, floor time today. And Canada now moving on and still in contention in London 2012. Lizanne, thank you so much for joining us today. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Matthew. How are you guys doing? So well to uh, to be able to uh, touch base with you. And first of all, congratulations on the big victory today. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Lizanne's been very, very active on social media when she's got the time in uh, London, which is fantastic for the fans. You can uh, follow her on uh, Twitter.com slash Lizzie Murph, and uh, she just weighed in and thanked everybody for their thoughts. So you're getting a lot of people uh, reaching out? It's, actually, it's unbelievable. The amount of support that is coming, especially from Montreal, but in Canada as a whole, has been totally overwhelming to everybody on our team. It's really great. Now, uh, obviously, a big victory today. Uh, that was uh, is the best scenario you could have hoped for coming into the game today, and uh, that was that was kind of uh, a, a really interesting game. You had a huge lead in the first half, fourteen points uh, in the women's game, a, a very very big lead, and then uh, Brazil went up by a point early in the fourth quarter. But uh, your team was able to hang on. Uh, how did you stay composed down the stretch, knowing that you uh, blew leads or or lost leads rather to Russia and to France? Yeah, we knew, well, we knew that this was going to come, when we had the lead, we knew that Brazil was going to go on a run. I mean, they're a team that it just takes one score and they're such an emotional team. So they have a lot of highs and lows as well. And we knew that the game was going to have a bunch of ups and downs, but that in the end, like if we executed and we really bucked down and got the defensive board that we would win. Hey, hey Liz, how you doing? It's Dwight. How you been? Hi, Dwight. Wonderful. <laughs> it's good to hear you. Listen, um, you guys have come so close now to beating the number two uh, country in the world in Russia, and now you beat the number six country in the world in Brazil. What is the overall confidence of of the team? What is the overall state of mind for you guys? You guys have done extremely well. I was confident for you guys going to this tournament. A lot of people around the country didn't know how good you guys had had really performed previous to this tournament. What is the overall feel of you guys? You guys have played very well. You guys could have a chance to do something special here, don't you? No, we really do. It's really funny with our team is that we're a very confident team. It's kind of we know that we're kind of the biggest, the biggest and best secret out there. It's just that people don't really know about us. But That's right. we know that we can beat with anyone because we cause we cause other teams to have so many problems because we're so good defensively, and that most teams internationally want to score a lot, and we really try and slow down the game, and that really messes up a lot of teams. And so we knew that coming into this that we were not, you know, other teams may not have ex- have expected us to do well, but we really did think we could come in here and really win a few games. Chatting with Lizanne Murphy, member of Team Canada's women's basketball team, uh, moving on in uh, London right now. Uh, Lizanne, I'm watching the broadcast here on television, and you get, you check into the game in the first quarter, I believe it was. Uh, first quarter, second quarter, I'm trying to recall, but uh, the announce the uh, the announcers for the game, Paul Jones and Chantal Lavallee, uh, mention you and, and say that you're a barometer for the team. If you're feeling good, the team's feeling good. If you're not in a good mood, the team's in a bad mood. Is that a fair assessment? That's that's what they said today on the on the broadcast. And then you you sh- you come into the game, you go to the free throw line right away, which is fantastic. You hit a three pointer right after that. While you're at the line, they say, "Look at that look in her face." Uh, I think the team's in a good uh, position today. Yeah, I mean it's it's kind of been my role on the team to be a bit, a bit of a spark plug. I'm kind of like the energy giver of the team. That's it's just been my role, and it's something that really fits into my personality. So I totally embrace it because it's I am so easily fired up, and so I guess that. My teammates love that about me too, and like we're we're a group that it just takes one or two people to get really fired up about something, and it transcends through the team. So, I, I mean, that's funny that they said that about me, but I think we have a bunch of players that are kind of like that too. Well, anybody here in Montreal who knows anything about Lizanne, Lizanne's very upbeat, very she's she's got a lot of leadership qualities as well, and we're not surprised to hear those kind of comments from our, from our commentators here. But Lizanne, could you speak about or talk about? Uh, the play of Shauna Thornburn in this tournament. She has she has been spectacular. I think she leads you guys in scoring. Um, she's had a fantastic tournament. Could you please talk about the the impact that she's had for you guys throughout this process? I mean, Shona's an unbelievable player. Uh, we we've all known that too. Shona's had a little bit of a wrist injury over the last year, and so that's kind of what has, I guess, 
made her not have the greatest summer last year. But this year, she's feeling great, and you could see it. I mean, she was an amazing college player. She's a great pro player. Right. So everyone kind of knows about her. It's just she's really popping into this tournament. She is coming into her own. She feels good. And that's the most dangerous thing is that as soon as the player has some confidence, it is it is so hard to stop you at this level because she just feels great. And so that is leading to the rest of the team feeling great. So it's really, really good for us. It seemed like uh, Brazil uh, was a team today that uh, was trying to use their athleticism, a lot of trapping, a lot of full-court presses, but it led to uh, a lot of layups, easy layups, once you were able to get out of those. A lot of inside uh, uh, layups for you guys today. Was that a part of the game that you thought that maybe you could uh, uh, edge them out on, inside game? Yeah, well, we knew that inside and out, if we execute our offense, we kind of get the shots we want. In the third quarter, we really did have a hard time against their pressure. It was nothing unbelievable and we just we did not handle it that well and that's when they went on that run and then I mean the refs kind of swallowed their whistles a little bit in the third quarter which which is good because we like to play physically but that's kind of what allowed them to get on that run and so and then when we kind of the players got together on the court and we said okay guys take a deep breath chill this pressure should be easy if they've got everyone in the front court we should be able to get way up to the other end and then that's when we kind of like just made better passes got it right out of the trap and kind of advanced the ball. Now, the coach of your team and the assistant coach of your team have an interesting relationship. I've never heard of this in a high-level Olympic sport before. Please explain for the listeners. Uh, well, our head coach is Allison McNeil, and one of our assistants, I'm guessing this is the one you're talking about, is her husband, Mike McNeil. And uh, they've been coaching together for a very long time. They were both assistants at the University of Oregon before under Bev Smith. And then they've, he's been around, they've been together now for 10 years, along with Lisa Tomitis, our other coach of this the same coaching staff for the last 10 years. Amazing. Uh, all right, so Lizanne, off the court, what, uh, what uh, have, you, have you enjoyed uh, at the Olympics here? Uh, are, are you, have you been taking in any of the events? What have you been watching uh, in terms of the, your fellow Canadian athletes? Well, we haven't gotten to see anything live because, uh, I mean, it ends up being so much walking. So we've, uh, we've had to stay at the village quite a bit and then with our practices and everything. So we've been watching everything on TV. We've seen every single medal performance. Um, it's been really exciting. We've got the. I'm really excited about the trampoline event for the women starting tomorrow. It's one of my favorite events to watch. So, uh, but no, in the Canadian section, they kind of always have the Canadian events on, so you get to catch all of it. So it's really cool. And what about the opening ceremonies? Were you able to partake in that? And and what were your thoughts? What was that experience like? Uh, it's a little bit of a joke that uh, no one. We haven't seen any of it. Uh, we got to. Go, we were luckily able to do walk in and do the lap with the rest of the team Canada. So that was unbelievable. But we didn't see anything leading up to that. We kind of arrived at the stadium right before we walked around the track, and then we left right away because we had a game the next morning at eleven. So I still have not seen the torch be lit, nor have I seen the flame. But I'm just gonna see it on PVR when I get home. <laughs> Uh, Lizanne, so I'm um, getting back to one last basketball question here. What what is what is you guys' schedule over the next day? Do you have practice tomorrow, day off, or what is your mindset for the next couple of days? Uh, so I mean, right now everybody is in and out of the cold test, in and out of getting treatment, and then our coaches are going to watch film. I wouldn't be. I'm pretty sure we're going to watch some film tonight, and then tomorrow we're gonna we have practice for sure, and we're going to walk through a lot of those things that. Uh, Brazil, uh, that, sorry, that Australia likes to do and, you know, get some shots up and stuff. And then same thing, stick around the village, not too much walking. And then we'll take on Australia at 2.30 on Sunday. Now, how does that work, Lizanne? I mean, you're already in, but I guess beating Australia, you'd get a better seed. What's the mindset going into a game like that? Is there a danger of, of a letdown? Because uh, I believe Australia beat Russia, so they're a pretty good team. Uh, yeah, well, Australia is uh, tied with Russia for second in the world, so they are a great team. Um yeah, I mean, we no, we would of course like to win this game because that'll have more favorable seating in the going into the quarterfinals. And you know, we want everything to be. We want to control our own destiny. You know, we want to go out and win so that we can have the matchup that we want. You know, not rely on. We're treating this as like a must-win game as well. Not you know relying on oh, depending on what happens in the rest of the games today and then the other games on Sunday. Like we're not even really concerned about that. We have Australia. We want to beat Australia. Lizanne, thank you so much for taking some time today. Really appreciate it. Again, if the fans want to reach out to Lizanne, they can via twitter.com slash Lizzie Murph. You can also look her up as well on Facebook. On behalf of all Canadians, good luck the next game and into the next round. And uh, thanks so much for taking some time today. You want to say hello to uh, any Montrealers listening? 
Yeah, well, thank you so much for having me on. And really, the support in Montreal has been unbelievable. Like, that is really the driving force between behind our team and for everyone else in Canada. So, fans out there, we are really going to try and surprise the world. Keep believing in us.